just wanted to do a quick video on an unusual crystal set that I've put together. I got the idea from a short article in this month's silicon chip. That article mentioned that you could use an electric microphone as the detector and a benefit of it was you could drive a pair of low impedance headphones. I built it up and it worked first time. This is the electric microphone I'm using. It's got three connections. This is the circuit. The variable capacitor has a maximum between about 200 and 400 picofarad. This is a coil. It can be either air round or on a ferrite, around 60 to 80 turns. There need to be taps along it because the performance of the crystal set is very strongly affected by where you tap both the antenna and the detector. With my particular set, I find I get best performance with the tap about 10 or 20% of the total number of turns above the earth side of the coil. An unusual thing about this particular circuit is the connections to the detector. Here I've got the outer case of the electric microphone, which I believe is coupled through to the gate of the FET inside the microphone. That goes to the top of the variable capacitor and the coil. Then the source goes to a tapping point down the coil and the drain, which is where you connect the power supply to or the bias voltage for the electric mic, that is for the headphone connection. And I've got a one nanofarad capacitor in parallel, not critical. With this set, I could pick up three or four local stations at reasonable volume to hear in the headphones. If you want better selectivity, then you need to move the tapping point down towards the earth side of the coil. I find it's very important to have an earth with this design. Without it, I could hear stations, but they weren't very strong at all. As for the types of headphones, one of the beauties of this circuit is you can use low impedance headphones. I tried various other things like receivers from telephones, they work quite well. Small speakers from inside headphones, they were okay. Even 8 ohm speakers. If you hold your ear up to them, you may still be able to get a signal. If you take apart a lot of electronic gear, you will find speakers with impedances as high as 32 ohm. I tried those and that worked quite well, better than 8 ohm speakers. The high impedance headphones normally used for crystal sets also works well with this circuit. With this crystal set circuit, the great strength about it is it does work with a wide variety of headphone or earphone impedances. Whereas with the normal diode crystal set, you usually just have to use high impedance phones or obtain a transformer. If you can, I'd encourage you to get the silicon chip article. It's in February 2019 issue. The article also mentioned particularly sensitive earphones that had a rating of 118 dB. I went to the supermarket and found them for $10. Other earphones of that same brand were more expensive, like I think around $18, but their sensitivity was rated at less, like around 99 dB. So have a look around your local supermarket. You might find some suitable earphones and have a look at the fine print on the packet to see if there's a dB sensitivity rating. The bigger the number, the more sensitive it is. This has been a quick look at a simple and novel crystal set. All you need is an electric microphone insert as your detector almost any type of headphone and you'll be able to listen to the AM broadcast band, provided you've got a reasonable antenna and earth.